Morning, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan with your morning digital news brief for Wednesday, December 22nd. A police officer was shot in North Philadelphia last night after officials say the officer tried to confront a robbery suspect. It happened along Harlan Street. The officer is in stable condition. Police say they will move forward with charges when the suspect is released from the hospital. Thousands of Americans are dealing with long lines trying to get a COVID test ahead of the Christmas holiday. The Omicron variant is the dominant strain being detected nationwide. The CDC says it expects a record number of new cases in January, likely fueled by Omicron and holiday gatherings. And officials urge those flying over the holidays to give yourself plenty of time. 925,000 passengers are expected to pass through Philadelphia International Airport between today and January 4th. The busiest days are expected to be December 26th, 27th, and 29th. Now let's get a check of the weather with meteorologist Larissa Brayu. Hey there, Jim. Three more days until Christmas. And the holiday week promises to be a lot more tranquil. Now we did have a little bit of rain here that moved through overnight. Now we're tracking conditions clearing out. And that'll be the case for the rest of the day. In fact, we're going to enjoy plenty of sunshine, a few fair weather clouds, and winds will be noticeable. So it's going to turn breezy to downright windy in some spots. Across the region today, anticipate a daytime high of 45 in Philly, 45 along the Jersey Shore, low 30s up in the Poconos, and that's where it will be windy with wind gusts as high as 30 miles an hour in and around the Poconos. And that could also extend as far south as the I-95 corridor. We Jump ahead to Thursday night. That's the next chance for a little bit of snow out there. As a disturbance located well to our north will skirt our area, and that's going to bring with it at least a chance for a passing snow shower, not amounting to too much. Still going to be nice to see. And then Christmas Day itself, we're tracking a wet and not a white Christmas, with rain moving in Friday night, lingering into the start of the holiday. Thank you, Larissa. And remember, you can always get Larissa's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on. CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Jim Donovan. Make it a great day.